This is my current project, building a 34 inch sheet metal break. Um, I bought 6 feet of 3 sixteenths by 2 inch steel bar, which is these two pieces, 3 feet each. And then I bought some inch and a quarter by 8 inch angle iron. I got 3 feet of that. And I had some old hinges laying around. So, what I did was I hinged these two pieces together in a manner that when you close it, that gap is pretty much non-existent, so it's a pretty tight fit. You want that because when you bend the metal, you want it to have a nice crisp edge on it. So, I also had this piece laying around, I just welded that to the bottom, and that goes into the vise. So, let's just weld it on there. And then, so this drops into the vise. Then this piece is going to have a hole drilled on that end and on that end. There'll be holes on each end of here. And then I'm going to have springs in between this piece and the angle iron so that when you loosen it, it'll spring itself up so you can get your metal in and out of there easily. So that's going to go on there. And you'll notice when I move this, the ends of this piece kind of bend. And that's because they're so heavy and it's only supported in the middle. But with four hinges and when this piece is clamped down on either end, the angle iron will make it all nice and straight. So, now all I gotta do is drill the holes, mount this, and then I'm going to weld a pipe nipple into the center of here, and then I'll just put a tube in there to use as a handle, that way it's removable. So, this is 36 inches long, but it's gonna be 34 inch capacity because an inch on either side for the bolts. So that's my sheet metal brake project.